Hi everybody. Morning beloved, we welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Again we say that this is the day yeah, that the Lord, Lord has made. made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We're going to thank Him because He's a good God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. In Isaiah 40, verse 29, it says, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even uh, youth uh, grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, and they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Now, many that have gone through the, this lockdown, yeah. that lost jobs, they've lost homes, they didn't know where the next scent will come from. They didn't know where the next plate of food will come from. They've really grown tired and weary. They've almost given up. I just want to encourage you today. Don't grow tired or weary. The Lord says it. He's going to give you strength. He'll give strength to the weak. He'll bless you. He'll Amen. provide for you. He'll restore you to Amen. your rightful That's state. Right. Don't lose hope in the Lord for He knows every single one of your needs. Yes. And today He's going to deliver you. Today yes, He's going to heal and Amen. restore you. Today He's going to renew you. Yes. So just rise up with healing and your wings and, and just the Lord will strengthen. strengthen. Power. He will give you power yes. to continue Amen. your walk in life. Don't give up. <laughs> the devil wants to tell you oh, you're finished, you're old. You, He's a liar. You've got no more power. I'm going to take That's you out. The devil is a liar. That's Don't it. believe the lies That's of the it. devil. Don't Amen. believe what he tells you. Exactly. God's word says. Exactly. Amen. I'm going to read it again. Yeah. He gives strength to the weary, increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary. Yeah. Young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord those will renew their Amen. strength. Amen. Yes, just hope in the Lord. You will renew your strength. He will renew your strength. Yes. They will soar on wings like eagles. Amen. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk Praise and God. not faint. Praise God. But those who hope in the Lord Amen. will renew their strength. Thank you, Jesus. Just cry out to God today, if, even yes, if you've Lord. got no strength in your body. Yes, Lord. Just cry out to Him and ask the Lord God to strengthen your yes. mortal body because the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead Amen. dwells in you and it's quickened your mortal body. His word says it. So don't look at your circumstances today. Don't. Uh, no, it, there might be a big storm going on in your Amen. life, the big Amen. storm Amen. going on in your health. Amen. Cast it to the ground That's in the it. name That's of it. Jesus and rise up and expect yes. God's Jesus healing. Christ. Expect God's strength to yeah. touch your mortal body because yeah. the Word of God says the same power that raised Jesus Christ from Amen. the dead dwells in you and quickens your right. mortal Amen. body. Amen. Kick the devil in the teeth with yes. the blood of Jesus. He has no power over you. No weapons Amen. formed against you will prosper. In Amen. Jesus' name. Do you know in the book of Jude it tells us to strengthen us and our most holy faith, praying always in the Spirit, praying in tongues. When you pray in tongues, you strengthen yourself. If you're not a tongue talker, you need, you need to speak to, to your speak. pastor uh, and get baptized in the Holy Spirit right. with the evidence baptized. of speaking in other tongues. It's not a gimmick. It's not stupid. If you think it's a gimmick and you think it's stupid, you have to tell me I'm a gimmick and I'm stupid. Because I talk in tongues. And I know it's not a thing that's put on. It comes from deep within me. It wells up at certain times and it spews out. And uh, it's a big strengthener. And especially when you don't know what to pray about. How to pray. You just pray in tongues. All the time. You can pray for hours and hours in tongues. That's it. And you're praying the perfect prayer. And God's going to answer that. Because God knows where you're at. Amen. And Amen. He will deliver you and He'll restore he and He'll yes. heal you. And He'll renew your mind. In Amen. Jesus name. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. So let's come to before the Lord at the Lord's table. Amen. And uh, if it's the first time you're watching this video, then just push pause, go and get yourself some bread and a biscuit and some juice or water even. It's, it's what it represents that's most important, not what it is, in Jesus' name. And then come back to your, to the, your video player, push play, and you can take partake of the, the Lord's Supper with us, in Jesus' name. But this is the bread, which represents the body of Jesus. And we thank you, Father. Mm -hmm.
by the stripes that fell on the back of Jesus, we are healed. We thank you, Lord, for the pain he endured. We thank you, Lord, for the humiliation that he endured. We thank you, Father, for the for the for the, the beating that he endured. A lot of us wouldn't be able to take it, but he took it. And he took it to the cross. And he nailed his body to the cross so that we could be free in Jesus' name. Let's eat of the bread. And then the grape juice, the water, whatever it is you're using. It's an element. It represents the blood of Jesus. Jesus at the Passover supper, he took the cup and he lifted it up. And he says, this is a cup of, a new, of the new covenant, a covenant of grace. And whenever you drink of it, do it in remembrance of me. Do it in remembrance of the work of the cross. Do it in remembrance of what he did for you. He came out of heaven. He came out of glory. He came out of God's presence to this earth, a fallen world. And he stripped himself of all divine power and ability. He could have used it at any time. But Philippians chapter 2 tells us he humbled himself and became as a man. And as a man, he overcame all the temptations of sin that we face. But he overcame them. And he went to the cross and he shed his blood. So that you and I can walk in God's forgiveness because the price for our sin has been paid in Jesus' name. And we can go back to glory and be with Jesus and our Heavenly Father in Jesus' name. Let's drink together. Amen. Praise God. Father, we pray for those precious people there, yeah. those precious listeners, Father, those that are ill in their yes, bodies. Yes, amen, amen. Be Father, we thank you, Lord, name. that you give them strength. Yes, the weary amen. bodies, you give them strength and yes, power, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. The word of God says, for the same power that raised Jesus Christ amen. from the dead dwells in you and quickens your it. mortal yes, body. Father, Jesus we name. thank you, Lord, for healing, restoration, amen. for peace and prosperity, you, Father. Thank in you, Jesus' Lord. name, that the Lord bless and keep you. Make his face shine amen. and make him gracious to give you amen. peace in Jesus' Praise name. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Until the next time, God bless you. Don't forget the subscribe button. God bless you. God bless you. Amen.